started at the Red Cross in 1999. But the Red Cross itself has been going in Australia since 1929, the Blood Service. So it's a very old organisation and a well-respected one. Out of one whole blood donation, you can save three lives because we divide that up into three products. There is the red cells, the plasma, and the platelets. Uh, blood is red, obviously, when you cut yourself, but uh, the reason why it's red is that it is stained by the red cells. The majority of your blood is actually plasma, and um, it's a wonderful product, plasma. It has all your immunity in it, all your clotting factors, uh, Anything that you get, uh, an immunisation at the doctor, for instance, is all taken from your plasma donation. The red cells are very important, they can, but their only job is to carry around oxygen and to take away carbon dioxide, so it's only a small job that, that it has. And platelets are very important. They uh, prevent us from bleeding to death. It's also they clot your blood when you cut yourself or when you have a bleeding episode internally. Platelets are used uh, when there's been trauma. Um, obviously they need to fix the trauma first, it's no good just pumping people full of platelets, it won't just clot itself. Um, we have to sew up the hole that's been made in you, perhaps in a car accident, but they provide you with platelets because you would have lost a lot of your own blood and been unable to produce enough platelets in a bleeding episode to prevent the whole uh, accident site being fixed. So throughout surgery, after your accident or after your major abdominal surgery for instance, they could use platelets to help with clotting. Uh, yeah, so um, my story all started back in 2007 when I was involved in the hit and run. Um, it, uh, yeah, it certainly changed my life. So um, surviving all that, um, well actually I didn't survive it. I, I got to the operating theatre um, after eight hours of surgery and a lot of blood, so a lot of blood. The, uh, the doctor, kind of like um, when I asked him how much blood that it actually took for that operation, he said, well, we'll summarise it into a shitload. Plasma products in particular over the, the next 10 years is expected to triple. Every day we're using more and more plasma products, so the future is plasma. There's still a need for obviously whole blood donations to give, get the red cells. The process of blood donation is quite simple. There's a, a short questionnaire about your medical history and your social and sexual history. There's some brief questions that are done in private so that um, the nurse interviews you in private so that any personal information that you have is kept strictly confidential. And from that, we can make an assessment whether you are suitable to donate blood, whether it's safe from your point of view. We don't want to harm the donors, but we also obviously don't want to harm the recipients either. So the questionnaire is designed for both those reasons. Uh, we take you through to the collection area, um, some antiseptic is applied just to the cubital fossa of your arm, the in, inside of your elbow. And uh, it's, it's got a great vein there, it's right really close to the surface, it's the best vein to choose from. It's quite painless when it goes in, a little, a little sting, just like if you were getting a, a tiny little uh, prick in your finger, but it's very quick, it's, very, it's over. Once the needle's in, you hardly feel it, it's just a dull sensation. It takes between five and 10 minutes to collect 470 mils of whole blood. And uh, once you've done that, we pop a little Band-Aid on your arm. We just ask you to take it easy for the rest of the day. Uh, no strenuous exercise. And you've saved three lives by doing something that simple. Plasma, on the other hand, is a little bit longer. Um, we actually attach you to a machine. It takes your whole blood out, it spins the whole blood in the machine and gives you back your red cells because we can, we can uh, use the plasma products so much more efficiently by dividing it up into its various products. So uh, that's a wonderful thing to do. It does take a bit longer, about 40 minutes on the plasma machine. But they're both wonderful donations. And whatever, people, whatever time people can commit to it is a wonderful thing. And an hour can just save a life. You know, you just uh, you come in, you have a drink. It's quite a friendly atmosphere. We need people to be altruistic in their behavior and want to give and, um, and uh, we encourage people to try it just once and uh, look you get free, free chocolates and free milkshakes at the end, it's, uh, it's well worth it. <laughs>